Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm Derek Ray getting ready to bring you all the action accompanied by my broadcasting partner Stuart Robson. And it's all about live action from the Mexican top flight Liga MX. It's Club Tijuana and they take on Chivas. Yes, thanks as always Derek. We've got two good teams here so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. And this is how the hosts will begin the game today. Well, they're starting with an attacking 4-5-1 formation with three players in advance of two holding midfielders. But it's important that the wide players come in field to join the centre forward at the right time. Well, here's the team for Guadalajara. Well, they're playing with a 5-2-3, as we can see it here. But somebody has to step in to join those two midfield players. It could be one of the fullbacks or it could be one of the centre halves. So keep an eye out. And they kick off here. Beltran. Vega. Calderon. Moving the ball effectively, looking for the right moment. And possession given away. Macias. Well, they're moving the ball neatly enough. Just looking for that decisive pass. Flores with it. Opportunity. And a goal. An early boost for them. The first goal of the game. They're off and running. Just look at this again. The combination play in the top third of the field was so precise. And the finish is really good. Low and hard beyond the goalkeeper. It's a lovely goal all round. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. And he keeps going. Chance to play it in. Well, he dealt with that ball played in rather well. Vladimir Loronya. And a fine cross. Not fantastic defending. Let's see if it helps the opposition. Oh, he's given it away. Marcel Ruiz. Excellent challenge. Sanchez. Flores with it. Well, possession is the watchword inside their own territory. 
Orozco. Christian Calderon. Macias. You can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it. Booking to come, you would think. And that is going to mean a caution. The referee is absolutely right. He knew what he was doing there. And he did what he had to do defensively. Wonderful challenge and a throw-in coming up. Beltran. Well, they're keeping their opponents moving and guessing. Well, I think a classic commentator's curse just then. Couldn't make the ideal pass. And breaking at pace with Menace. Renato Ibarra. Can they create something from here? It's looking promising. Well, still searching for the equaliser, but not passing it anxious. And denied by the post. Pressing high, and they have the ball again. Now can they create something? Almost found its target, but cutting it out in the end. Well, they're so unlucky not to be level now. It was a great effort. You just wonder if they're going to regret that. Flores with it. Beltran. Not showing good defensive judgment. Not a huge chunk of added time. One minute. They're certainly allowing their opponents to come on to them. Now well, the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the plate. The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. Vasquez. It's with Facundo Ferreira. And can they make one of these passes count? Calderon. Beltran. Jesus Sanchez. Vega. And they have possession again. Renato Ibarra. Vasquez. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. Teammates in the middle. Well, they had a decent reading of that ball in. Roberto Alvarado Flores with it Sanchez Jesus Sanchez Macias and he read it superbly and well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack He could pick out a teammate. Brian Angulo. Still behind, but the pressure mounting. Renato Ibarra. It's with Facundo Ferreira. Now showing excellent judgment to intercept.
Well, he's lost it. Flores with it. Beltran. Flores. Roberto Alvarado. Well, they've lost the ball. Oh, it was a terrible looking challenge and a big decision for the official here. Well, the referee is the red card, an obvious one, Stuart. Well, they'll need to reorganise quickly here. He really has let them down with that challenge. Well, both teams have had substitutes swarming up, and now both will rely on their respective benches. Well, on the cusp of full time, the home side keep plugging away but find themselves on the wrong end of the scoreline. Stuart, your thoughts on what you've seen? Well, I think their forward play has been poor today. They've not had enough movement from the front players and the midfield have been too safe with their passing. Unless that changes in these final few moments, they'll get nothing from this game. Options in the middle. Well, the crossing needs to be a bit better than that. Oh, the keeper needed to do an awful lot better. Keeper getting the touch. Well, nothing untoward happened. Well, that save has just about kept them in this. But they need to create chances of their own and quickly if they're to get a result here. And just five minutes remaining. They are making headway, but really they need a goal with time not on their side. Read it well. Sanchez Flores with it they've given it away if you're wondering about stoppage time one minute to be added on setting off perhaps a little bit too much here Renato Ibarra and there it is the final whistle not what the home fans were hoping for before a ball was kicked today defeat for them well, Derek, not quite good enough today. Yes, they only lost by one goal, but I never felt they were in control of the game. Straight in day all round for the coach to think about for the next time. Well, Stuart, he really has had a lot to say for himself out on the pitch. Well, I enjoyed watching him today. His work rate, skill and movement were excellent, and he fully deserved to score that winning goal.